Hello everyone. Today, I guess we will review what happened to the beta the test of the luminary rise of the legacy. First, let's start off with the administrator post, Alex. Alex and Eros were both administrators and for the context first, I must tell you that there was someone called uh, Anxiety and Monkey Dick also. And we, and they were both two very toxic people. And then let's look at Alex and Eros. There are two admins as well. Which technically tells us first clue that we need to know. And then, let's look at the list of known bugs. Low tier, medium tier, high tier, game breaking, core functionality not working, causes crashes. The low is the current list of known bugs and issues. If the bug issue you found in the, is in this list, you do not have to report it. In no access, they deleted almost all of the channels, or, or rather removed access for us. They also removed Kier's moderating power over the Discord server, and look, all of those are glitches that uh, were on the game's launch. All of those. You can pause to read, but there is an entire fucking list. Yes, they tried at beta patch 1 and beta patch 2. But when they offi went with official launch, they only fixed one. And then, let's look. When the beta patch 2 was 9-9-2023, which was over a month ago. Let's look at the launch of the game. 21.9 which is another <laughs> nearly a month since launch and they already shut down the highly anticipated grand opening is scheduled for tomorrow highly anticipated grand opening that none of the admins attended there was no events completely nothing for this and this optimal performance and addressing existing issues only fixed one bug literally only fixed one bug you saw this here in the known bugs official patch one fix only one bug right clicking the post office crashes the game And uh, registering new account pingy. There was another drama with it because there was a leak of emails and other private data from this. So basically, if you used an email or your real name, you could essentially self-dox yourself and they could sell this to the Indian scammers freely. <laughs> Next point from the from here. It is not required to redownload the client. <laughs> Instead the current client will be updated. It was never updated. There was only official patch one day one patch fixing only one bug. 
as a token of appreciation for their valuable contributions, beta testers who reported critical bugs will be rewarded upon the official release. It is important to note that the process of evaluating the reports and addressing any repeated bugs may take up, up to a month before the rewards are distributed. That was another lie because in one month the game shut down. And the beta testers received nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you can guess why there is no access. You do not have access to this link. This link is to a server or channel you don't have access to. And why is there no access? Because literally there was everything there. Like the proofs, or how do you call it? Private messages of the admins and some other people. Wow, this shit's wild. And those private messages contained all of the things I talked about. Where is this I for Oh, here it is, okay. Oh, we extend our sincerest gratitude. I bet this was lie as well. Knowing their behaviors. Yikes. Alex6725 was behind this failure of a launch and another admin Outlast Known Bugs Alex BDE and the second admin Eros, that's right. Eros seventeen eighty four. Total yikes. Those two literally failed this and look at this bug for example. All damage spells have no base magic attack. Once the appropriate stat level is reached, the base attack is 0 to 0, meaning they do no damage unless body stats are increased. 0 0 damage from a magic. It is in high game breaking bugs that they refuse to fix. All those bugs here are still the bugs that they did not fix and that persist. That do persisted until the closure. Because yeah, they closed it like yesterday maybe. For the hour of the bugs, X to double. Today at 8.40 a.m., which is like 10 hours ago, there were multiple factors that led to the closure of the game, but the primary, primary reason was its lack of profitability which means they didn't fix the bugs anything literally they didn't fix 
almost anything on the launch, since the launch. And it was an entire month compared to, to their beta patches. Beta patches 1 and 2, they fixed a lot. Official patch? Nothing. Only one thing. So that lack of profitability is basically them reading we couldn't drain more cash out of you. So we close the server, we don't give a shit. We won't even fix the, the bugs. We don't give a shit, literally. That's what they, that's what the admin tell us. As a result, the decision was made to shut down the game completely. If anyone is interested in buying the server files and source code for version 6243, please reach out to me privately. We apologize for the unfortunate news, but circumstances compelled us to take this action. Um, um, you just couldn't give a shit about the community, about the bugs, about literally anything. It's like uh, telling a baker, not even a baker. It's uh, like uh, telling a child to try to go to a bakery and tell him to make like two meters full cake. That's how skilled the Alex and the Eros are. Those two admins, this guy, rolls admins, and this guy, roll admins. And the best reactions are community reactions. Literally 12 people laughed at this, including my main account. And why I'm using the alt account is because I want to show you other servers as well and what people were talking headstone. Literally everyone laughs at them. Literally. Monkey Dika also. Even Eros goes with the smoke emoji. Even Eros. Alternate account. The only three people who cried were Redo, Everman and Mew. Baby scream. <laughs> Now what people talk about this? There's a lot of talking. So let me show you the most recent things. This gift for the bugs ideally described them. This one as well. Maybe when the bug page hasn't been used for over a week, I take a look. Yep. Yeah, it's sad, but I'm getting the same feeling. So many bugs and I have a feeling it's only for cash and not for the love of the game. Which was literally true. Alex admitted. They just pulled the cash out of the server because apparently it costed only $10 and people already donated 50 Ten dollars per the server running for this many people. Well, so of course they pulled the cash and said, "We don't give a shit. You don't pay us enough." They didn't give a shit, even if we tried to help them fix the bugs, report the bugs, whatever they allowed us to do as a players, and yet it's a bug heaven, immensely, immensely skilled and visionary team.
It's literally a quote from the website. I loved her at that sentence. Call yourself that and present shit. At this point, they don't present anything. Pretty sure they generated the intro with chat GPT. And I agreed. Let's go to Luminary Gozu team. And now let's start to talk. Me and Neo Mage Wes were talking about this looking very suspicious. And normal chit chat. And then there's the funny thing. So what's the price they are asking for? Because as I read to you, they want to sell this as well. Probably something ridiculous like 5,000. In assumption dollars. The hood risk to buy it in the first place. It's broken, but you can still play. <laughs> Alfredo. Hackers could do files for free on a questionable quote for quote legal way and now they now want to see if they want to collect. Collect cash from selling. What a sad life they have. Lol and Gonzo is dead once again. They didn't even try. I agree, Redo. Yep. Lol, lack of profitability, Mao. Yeah, of course. When you don't fix the game breaking bugs and don't have PayPal, do you real think you're gonna make some money, El Mayo? They are incompetent and they are trying to blame us. All I can say is, what the fuck did I say? Yeah, Kuma was one of those people who were shot on by Alexanderos alt accounts. But he is ultimately right. I really want to go back and copy paste my post. I said something along the line. We don't owe them shit and they don't owe us shit. They open the server as a business opportunity to potentially profit of the game. We tested beta and played official server to report bugs, etc. Then I have the screen pop fucked our anxiety who responded by saying we should be grateful we even get to play if it's not for them. Well, what can I say, I guess? You were the highest level in the game. Clap, clap, five times. I think they owe anxiety the game files. He said he knows how to code and program. In um, my opinion, anxiety is was was uh, basically admin alternate account going by how toxic he was and how real admin was unresponsive literally unresponsive because i pm to him like several times alexanderos both and they didn't respond once So going by the entitlement of uh, anxiety and his Twitter retard level of toxicity, I really think they were the alt accounts of admins. So fuck, the diehard fan who supported them unconditionally shouldn't have to pay for the game files. <laughs> They try to salvage whatever they can get, like selling us their broken project car, <laughs> like selling us their Tesla. It's the fact biggest red flag was official grand opening. They weren't even offline. That's, I'm, that's the first time I'm reading this part. Shit, they weren't even offline for their own opening. What the fuck? Any other game, grand opening would be Game Master joining us to the fun events, give exclusive prizes, etc. Fuck, don't even try and tell me that the game wasn't profitable. I knew it wasn't because they were dumb as fuck. Also, they fixed one bug from beta to release. 
and basically the official patch one fixed literally one bug as you saw earlier. And as I said here, it would be very funny but tragic at the same time if Anxiety and the Monkey Decals were Alexander's alt accounts. Totally undefendable. So basically that's all the drama the Gonzu have right now. Two retards came and tried to make a server, but they fucked it all up. and couldn't even bother to fix this. And going back, there are people even here laughing at Alexander's communications, communication of theirs to people is as bad as Valope, which was the original uh, Gonzo the global version that I made speedrun, so they literally didn't communicate to people as well. Next research team, they are working on it, relax. Plot twist, they are not working on it. Lucian, we can't read what they give us. Yeah, the devs lazy in translation as always. And that's all. And also there is a drama from the old Val of Egozu. Yay, okay, but all the people who added the real cash now, uh, who added cash real now all accounts is lost. <laughs> no, they're from double loss as well. Basically they say that whoever donated and didn't spend G-Coin in the original Gonzu lost their G-Coin, no matter how much they donated. <laughs> donated, yeah. They literally paid for G-Coin to get the pro premium items and didn't receive anything. Donated. That's such a stupid word. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching and listening to this drama review and I hope you had at least a little bit of love from this terrible terrible time they had with the Gonzo almost as bad as Blizzard shit